I thought I would just share with you the way I make steam engine spectacles. And uh, that's not these spectacles that I wear on my face or see steam engines through. They're actually these small round windows, it's the frames that go around the small windows on the front spectacle plate of steam locomotives. And I'm going to show you how I make these. They kind of finish the locomotive off rather nicely. This is the spectacle plate of a locomotive. It's called a spectacle plate because it looks like a pair of glasses. And in the old days when they didn't have a cab roof it looked even more like a pair of glasses. It's really nice the way steam engines were related to human beings with faces, spectacles, eyes and all sorts of things. This is the spectacle glass ring, the uh, window frame. and It goes in there like that and you can see how it nicely finishes off the locomotive. Now I'm going to make other ones for here and two more for around the back. And the way I do that is I use a piece of brass which a plumber left behind on a plumbing job in the house and it just so happens that this part of it is the right diameter. So this has come out of the scrap box and I'll show you how to make it. This is a cross section through. Just to give an idea of the design of the spectacle glasses and then there's a step like that so there's a this is circular there's a uh, um, a cut through here that's where the opening is that's where the glass would normally go and then here there's a step down that goes all the way around and that is to allow it to be pushed into the spectacle sheet on the locomotive. So this is the part that you see. And this is the stepped part that goes into the spectacle plate. You can see the little ridge you have to machines to make it stick into the uh, cab uh, front sheet. So there's several machining operations to make this happen. Let's go over to the lathe and uh, get on with it. Make sure the jaws of the chuck are nice and clean because it's a self-centering and I don't want a bit of grit to be pushing it off centre. Give it a bit of a rattle and make sure that's all nicely centred up. There. Next I'll put in a boring tool because I'm going to bore it out to the right internal diameter first. And I do that small micro boring tool which I made some years ago and because uh, I haven't got a um, quick change uh, tool post I have to use little shims and stuff like this clamp it nice and tight it's my boring tool get it to a position now what I need to do is to take the spectacle glass measure the internal diameter that's what I want it to be. Because I've already machined this, I'm using this as a template to machine the other three. Now I know I haven't got much to take off on this internal diameter. It's actually very little. Take the tool up really carefully. Just take the first cut, check the size. A little bit further to go. That should be the final cut. Yep, there, nice slide fit. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do that. Um, uh, instep there in the front spectacle plate on the locomotive and I do that with this set uh, of calipers. Carefully move them up and down until they won't move anymore and that's my size. Now that's the piece that's going to push in so that's the important bit. So this is the size here which is transferred to the size here. That's quite critical because it needs to be a push fit into that front spectacle plate. 
So what I'm going to do is change out the tool and I use the tailstock to find the centre of the tool. Put the tool height against it, look along and I get centre height on the tool. Good and clamp it. That's it. It is literally that much. That is all I need. It needs to be a little smaller diameter, but that's approximately the size it needs to be. Do this very gradually. So you want this um, shoulder just to be a touch fit. Now I know that's going to push into the spectacle plate and hold there and not fall out. So that's done. Change our tools. Clamp the parting off tool in. So now I've got the uh, parting off tool in. I'm going to just measure off the distance here. Where I'm going to make this cut. I'm measuring it against this already made one as the template. There we go, it's got it. Just a steady feed on the parting off tool, and there it goes. So that is the new spectacle plate. I've got to make three more of these, and then I'm done for the steamer. So I'll get on with that. So this is the final spectacle going in. And it goes in a nice push fit. It's not going to fall out. I'll put the uh, radio control receiver back in this little slot here. I hope. There it goes. That's that one, that one. Here are the finished spectacles. You can see them there. Sort of nicely finishes off the engine. That's on the front spectacle plate. On the rear plate. You can see them there. They look quite nice, don't they? So, that's the completed spectacles on, on Blanche. I hope you've enjoyed this video and please don't forget to subscribe. There's plenty more videos on all kinds of subjects of steam locomotives and the like. So please stay tuned. Bye.